Today, we've got the 1792 bottle and bond, and we've also got a store pick of it. Are the store picks really better than the standard offering? Let's find out. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Neat Bourbon. My name's Tanner, and today we're talking store picks versus the standard offering. Now, I released a video a couple weeks ago talking about how awesome store picks are and how they're some of my favorite, favorite bottles of bourbon that you can buy. And I talked in that video about how you can pick out you know, different notes from store picks than the standard offerings. So today we're gonna be putting my money where my mouth is, and we're gonna be seeing is the store pick really better than the standard offering. I'm going to be doing a little mini series on this. I'm going to be going through all of my store picks and standard offerings. Um, so you'll see more of this content, you know, come, coming soon. So we do have 1792 bottle and bond. You know, it's uh, aged at least four years, comes in at 100 proof. And same thing over here, aged at least four years, comes in at 100 proof. This is a Virginia ABC store pick. Picked it up a couple months ago. It's a pretty, pretty solid bottle in my opinion, but uh, yeah, 1792 is a Barton product, um, so like a nutty profile is kind of characteristic um, to that distillate. Um, not overly nutty though, but let's go ahead and uh, get into the standard one. Yep, so getting a lot of spice. <clears throat> a lot of spice, a lot of caramel. That spice kind of has like a, a fruity twing to it, and you're kind of picking up a little bit of the oak too. All in all, pretty, pretty solid notes. Let's get into the uh, palate. Cheers. Yeah, so on the, on, on the palate, it's um, not really viscous at all, um, but it does coat the palate well. You're picking up caramel. It's more of like, like a thin caramel there. I am picking up like a hint of a peanut with uh, you know kind of like some some fruity some like like a fruit medley in there as well. Yeah, on the second sip there, you know, still getting the nut and that caramel is definitely becoming more prominent. And like as I breathe out, I definitely pick up more more of those fruity notes as well. Yeah, you know I mean, all in all, you know. That's a great bottle, especially, you know, in that like $40 price range. Um, now let's go ahead and uh, move over to the store pick. Um, I don't know if you've noticed these glasses. I picked these up um, when I was out in Kentucky this, this past year. And uh, these are barge sound glasses. But this style of uh, Glen Cairn, they dubbed and created. And it's uh, supposedly the official tasting glass of the Bourbon Trail. So... Fun fact about these glasses. Yeah, so like the nose on this, I'm getting a lot more like rich, deep brown sugars. Yeah, and like that nuttiness is, isn't is isn't there on the nose. Getting it, picking it up a little bit on this, but like that nut is more of like a deep, rich brown sugar. That's kind of what it's been replaced with on this nose. Yeah, not, not, not as much of like the fruity undertones coming off of the the pick as I was getting off of the standard offering. Let's see how it's on the palate. Cheers. Yeah, I mean right away, that is just amped up in viscosity, and like the flavor notes are just taken up like another notch. I don't know if it's just because this bottle is getting down low, and this one's newer, but. Yeah, definitely a lot like warmer <clears throat> characteristics in terms of like the flavor profile, like a lot of that like rich, deep brown sugar notes. Whereas this one was more of like a, a thinner caramel, getting like deep rich brown sugar notes. The oak is a lot more prevalent, <clears throat> you know, on the nose. Yeah, still getting like the same level of like fruitiness as I was getting off of the standard one. It's like a hint of fruit, like that fruit medley is there. But like that oak barrel spice is like definitely amped up a notch on the tongue. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just think overall, you know, comparing these two, this, this bottle and bond pick, it's just amped up a little bit over the standard offering. Like I'm not getting any of the nutty profile, like the hint of peanut that I was getting on the standard offering. 
that was replaced with like the brown sugar notes whereas the standard offering had caramel they both had comparable levels of like a like a fruit medley coming through i think the oak was shining through a little bit more like that oak barrel spice was coming through a little bit stronger on the uh <clears throat> on the store pick here but i mean again i think this was like I think I might have paid like $40 or yeah, I think I paid $40 for this one um, at the Virginia ABC drop. So, I mean, this is a sensational bottle for $40. Even the standard one is amazing at 40 bucks. Now, I mean, granted, these are both like pretty allocated here in Virginia. I rarely see this one ever. Um, like I think I've seen it like two times, maybe three uh, out of like the five years I've been seriously you know hunting around these parts so uh, every time i get these i'm able to get them offline or you know whenever i'm um you know visiting another state they don't seem to be quite as difficult to find so we're gonna have to go ahead and give the the victory to the store pick in this one the standard offering is no slouch but we're going to be doing some more comparisons like this going forward you know and as always if you've enjoyed this content would you consider giving a like would you consider subscribing you know once again this is neat bourbon my name's tanner and as always, pop the bottles and share the pours. We'll see you in the next one.